Chicago police report the body of a white male in his mid-50s was the At times like this, it's often very difficult to know exactly what to say. Who was Roger Broadhurst? Mr. Broadhurst? Yes. yes. I need to talk to you. What? I'm going with you tomorrow. We're going to Dad's place to get his stuff. Great. When do we leave? We are not turning this into a circus. Man, those rocks look slippery. He didn't slip. These are all the personal effects we took from your dad's house. He left a note addressed to a Mr. Rawlings. Oh, he's a fishing buddy of dad's. We cremated the man, we took his ashes, and we buried him. No, we didn't bury him. His lawyer buddies, his drinking buddies, his damn war buddies, they buried him. That selfish son of a bitch. He didn't even live long enough to see his grandchild born. I'm gonna get dad's note. Are you insane? It's evidence. Evidence? You know he's dead. Hell, you even know who did it. Let it go. No! It's the last thing the old man wrote. I want it. Walking into a police station and stealing evidence is no big deal. It's gonna be me that's gonna bail your ass out of jail. You can pull that big brother bullshit on these two, but it doesn't work with me. Dad really loved this boat. Glad he loved something. You want a beer? Isn't it a bit early for a beer? Honey and cold, Harvard. It's never too early for a beer. Ed Pepper, is that you? What happened? Picture your screwdrivers. What'd you do? Hit him with it? No! Cause the word I dread is always no. Let's talk about the night Dad left. You see, Dad had been out on one of his binges with his lawyer buddies, and he came home stinking drunk, so Mom told him to sleep on the couch. Now, any normal drunk would have shouted a few obscenities and slept it off, but no, not Daddy. And only God knows what would have happened if your 16-year-old brother, Roger Jr., had knocked him on his ass, kicked him out the door. And I don't know why you deny that memory, Roger, because it was the best goddamn moment you'll ever have. <laughs> <laughs>